Hello, this is the third post about antivirus XP 2010. In the last post I had just installed Spybot Search and Destroy, it was the only program that I could. Um, I'd updated it and set it running, went downstairs for a cup of tea, came back and this is what greeted me. So, we've got security breach, um, you're infected and you're doomed. You've got antivirus XP alert. Oh, just complete. Look at that. You are you are seriously under attack. Um. So uh, why have I put my hands? Oh, look at this. Can be jiggling all over the place. And what else? You've got security system alert. You've got alerts left, right, and centre. As how bad things are. So let's try and close some of these down, shall we? close that do you want to block this just go away no security system alert get rid of that and then you've got all oh, infected 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 buy our product get rid of that this is the Windows Security Center and as you can see the firewall is off and I didn't switch it off and you actually go to control panel as I did in another post see if it's still the same control panel firewall and it's saying there you go that this this nasty little program so you click you click on windows firewall and this program comes up it's taken over your system that much and it is saying that the firewall is on but the windows security center which for some reason it hasn't taken over is clearly saying the firewall is off so we'll close that down and we'll close this nice little program again. It'll pop up in a moment, no doubt. We'll close the control panel. Oh, and here we are, search and destroy. Now search and destroy has said we have got a Microsoft Windows file, one entry, which is not looking good. Windows Security Center antivirus override. So that program is over, oh, nasty. And Windows Security Center firewall override. So that nice little program, now as I say I'm not a computer buff but I don't know how it managed to get onto my system seeing as I'm completely up to date, I had Microsoft Firewall and I had Microsoft Security Central and it's managed to override the antivirus, override the firewall and done whatever the .file ex is. So we'll just open these up and look at what it's saying, registry change, registry change, registry change. So, you can click on there, fix problems. Right, before I go any further, this post is just to see if it can all be done automatically. I tried Malwarebytes, it wouldn't let me open the program. The antivirus XP had stopped anti Malwarebytes working, completely stopped it working. Um, Advanced System Care, I scanned it, didn't really do much. It's still on the system. So now we're trying Spybot Search and Destroy. And also, if you look to the side of this video, there's a website I've put down there which shows you how to go through it and remove everything manually. You have to go into the registry key. It gives you full instructions. And I'm going to do that after I've done this. But I just want to see if I can get control of my computer again because I can't use the internet at the moment and because I get pop-ups left, right and centre. Um, and if you, as you say, as I say, if you look at the other posts, you'll see that I can't use the internet. It's just... It's just stopping me going online. All it wants me to do is buy its product. That's all it wants me to do. So I'll put fix selected problems. Are you you are about to remove these entries? Do you want to continue? Yes. Three problems fixed. Okay. Well, that's still there. Taskbar. So why is that program still there? Hang on. So I suppose now I'm going to have to remove everything manually. As I said, um, just go to the website on the side of this post to see tracking software file. <laughs> now let's see if I can go online. Oh no, 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 no. Before I went downstairs, I... Oh look, it's still there. Oh, Spybot, what are you doing?
just re-enabling my local area can network because I knew my firewall was off so I stopped access to the outside world let's see if I can go to control panel windows no look that's not the windows firewall control panel area I know what it looks like and it doesn't look like that it looks very similar but it doesn't look like that so it's still got control of my system the little bastard go and connect what is going on so are your domains yeah well at least I'm back online which is the start now let's see if I can um, open malware bytes and it's letting me open malware bytes so at least spybot has let me regain some control over my computer so I'm now going to run malware bytes see what that comes up with I'm going to update it run it and I'm also going to follow the instructions from the website that I've included a link to on the side of this post and hopefully that will completely remove it from my system so I won't even have this nasty little thing down here and I can have my firewall back okay scanner and perform full scan and go for it so I hope that helps someone and um, if anyone from Microsoft is viewing this your products did absolutely nothing nothing so um, they need a bit of work I think all the best everybody goodbye